first take. I'm Dr. Yusuf, M.M. Yusuf, cardiac surgeon, specializing in minimally invasive cardiac surgery in Apollo Hospital, Chennai. Today I will talk about uh, Euroscope, what it means and how it is important to us for its use in cardiac surgery. Euroscore is a risk stratification tool. It is a European system of risk evaluation in cardiac patients undergoing surgery. So this was uh, initially framed to assess immediate or early post-operative mortality in patients undergoing cardiac surgery, mainly in Europe. This was formed by Dr. Sham Nashef and his group who work in Papworth and it was devised in 1999 but later on they redevised it in 2011 with the Euroscore 2 because over the years when cardiac surgery as you know started in the early 70s and uh, things have improved the expertise available with better outcomes and better post-operative management in the ICU and what all these improved so the initial Euroscore results or scoring system did not apply as we moved on. So they devised this newer score which is more predictive. But when they devised this Euroscore they included more than 20,000 patients from across around 40 countries or more including more than 150 centers of which there were about 4 centers from with patients represented from India. So this applies to more or less most parts of the world. Whereas there are other scoring systems like Society of Thoracic Surgeons score which is more into patients available in North America. It may not apply in every possible way to patients across the world. And why do we need it? It makes it easier for the surgeon and the patient to understand each other, to communicate and to gain the confidence of what we are planning to do. So we can assess or discuss risks and benefits of individual patients taking patient factors into account and give out an expected yearly outcome following surgery. So there are about 17 parameters which are taken into account during uh, this assessment. So they are divided into patient related factors where any patient comorbidities are taken into account and uh, two other factors are cardiac or heart related factors and surgery related factors. Say if they are elective surgery or emergency surgery, all these are taken into account. We had to have something like this to evaluate ourselves. And this, uh, following this scoring system, we can classify patients into three different groups depending on outcome. Normal risk or accepted low risk, moderate risk and high risk. If a patient scores less than two, they are classed as low risk, three to five is moderate risk and anything more than six is high risk. And our, our group of patients, Indian patients, although they were included, I think we do have certain other parameters like uh, nutrition status, con diabetic control, which is not as good as in the Western world in our country, maybe due to access to healthcare and availability, and also delayed presentation. These things are taken into account, and we are trying to see how best we can fit in uh, the Euroscore. But however, with the use of use and massive representation from throughout the world, this is the best possible tool we have in this current day, which we are universally using. Um, now, what else can it be used for? The other aspect of looking at it is quality control. So, patients outcome, surgeon's outcome are being assessed. In Europe, it's actually formed a league table which is being used. In our country, in Apollo Hospital Group, we are using it to assess quality control and uh, uh, 
assess outcome of individual patients and surgeons, which is not done in many centers across the country. This main helps us maintain or helps the management maintain clinical governance in our group of institutions. Thank you.